Mental health groups have had to act swiftly to adapt to how they support people who rely on them during lockdown, and Andy's Man Club is no different. We, we took the decision to suspend all our meetings the week before. Well, it was actually the Friday before the, the lockdown was announced by the Prime Minister, so we were kind of taking a proactive view, thinking that if we get ahead of it, we might be able to keep supporting our guys sooner rather than and prolonging the, the, the shutdown. Um, we had a couple of venues down south that announced that they were going to close because of uh, their own outbreaks as well. So we took the decision to suspend it. Um, but obviously we've, we've got uh, we've now got three members of staff down south uh, working in the office. So they, they've, they've been working from home on the computers and that. So they were looking at different ways of technology, how we can actually support our guys through this time as well and still continue the Monday night meetings. So we've been using technology now uh, for the fourth week. So we started a couple of weeks ago with five groups uh, trialing it after various uh, facilitators and, and group leaders going online through a number of trial meetings just to see if we could get the stuff to work and see if it was which format was best. I mean, we, we're using Zoom, so we use one of the Google uh, versions, which seems a bit more uh, stable for what we actually need it for. So uh, after lots of tests, we then ran it out to the, the five groups, as I said, and then we jumped on to 26 groups the following week. And then last week, we had 28 groups up and running. Uh, and this week, with, obviously, we had the 28 groups again uh, across the UK with just under 300 men meeting uh, for their, their normal meeting and at 7 o'clock on a Monday night. So it's, it's Andy's Man Club becomes part of a guy's routine uh, once they, they discover us and, and it becomes part of their, their coping strategies. Eh? So to, to keep that going through these unusual times has, has been massive for, for everyone. Eh? But how much is lost in that support when they can only meet remotely? Personally, what I get out of Andy's Man Club is that uh, interaction, that personal interaction, and it, it's, it's maybe the high five or the handshake or the hug at the end of the meeting that, that makes a big difference to a guy going out and going back home and, and fighting with the struggles he's going through. Uh, in terms of the charity moving forward, I, I think it's something we've already discussed at trustee level. It's something we're going to have to look at and, and, and keeping it there because obviously there's, there's guys that... Uh, can't always get to the house whether it's uh, access issues or, or it's, it's, it's just taking that step to get out of the house and walk through the door for the first time so it's, it's quite nerve wracking so I think the, the online stuff is, is here to stay um, obviously we've all got our own ideas how long it's going to last and how, how long we're going to be in lockdown and, and doing the meetings but I think when you look at what's going on across the world and how they're starting to ease up on the, the lockdown and stuff like that I think gatherings of more than 10 people is going to be uh, not allowed for quite some time so um, my personal opinion is we'll be doing this for, for a good few months anyway um, even after everything's kind of settled down so um, the technology side of it is it's something that we've got to embrace I know some of our guys are really struggling with it um, certainly the first couple of times I used it it's, it's back to that nervousness and you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to mute yourself and, and stuff like that so it can be quite daunting as well but I think as the guys uh, get used to it over time it will see our numbers increase as well um, and then when things start to go back to normal, we'll just look to see how we can do it on some sort of level, whether it's continuing the newbie group or, or just doing a mini meeting for the, the individual groups as, as we move forward. Andy's Man Club and other support groups are unified in their belief that while face-to-face -face support is preferred, using technology to communicate and support one another is the next best thing. Ian McNally, That's TV.